Gaming Bolt presents 15 video games you will probably never complete 100%. Have you ever loved a game so much that you wanted to do everything, and we mean everything in it? There are tough ways to 100% complete games, from earning all of the achievements or trophies to seeing every single piece of content it has to offer. And while Destiny and Assassin's Creed can seem tough to 100%, these 15 games ensure that you will probably never do everything. Let's take a look at them now. Mortal Kombat 2011 The 2011 edition of Mortal Kombat has perhaps the most brutal trophy or achievement to obtain. It's called My Kung Fu is Stronger, and the premise is pretty simple. Master all of the fighters. How do you do that? Well, spilling 10k pints of blood, hit 150 x-rays, win 100 matches, execute 100 fatalities, and have 24 hours of playtime on each character. There's 27 characters in the base game alone, which amounts to 648 hours right off the bat, and that's if you do everything correctly. Yish. Gears of War 3. The seriously achievements in the Gears of War series have always been the stuff of ridiculousness. Gears of War 3 takes this to a whole other level. Seriously, 3.0 is the achievement, and this time you have to collect each Onyx medal and hit level 100. You'll have to complete challenges like 6,000 explosive kills, 6,000 executions, 500 MVP ribbons in multiplayer, and so on. How many Onyx medals are there to earn? Just 65. Happy hunting. No Man's Sky Hello Games' No Man's Sky was a mockery upon release, but actually improved significantly with free updates. Even if you buy the biggest ships, discover entire galaxies of species, build the most badass of home bases, and become a real cool dude among your favorite civilization, No Man's Sky still has over 18 quintillion planets. Say what you want about the slight differences here and there, but you're not seeing every single thing No Man's Sky has to offer in your lifetime. Super Smash Bros. Melee Ah, the Diskin Trophy, one of the most agonizing things to collect in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Basically, there's a trophy that can only be earned by completing every point bonus in the game. However, some of the point bonuses are outright cruel. Lethal Weapon wants you to hit every single one of a character's moves on an enemy without consecutive moves and not beat them. Then there's the No Damage Run, which requires running through Adventure, Classic, or All-Star Mode without taking any damage. Mega Man Powered Up Beat every stage on every difficulty level. Then beat all of the robot masters with your buster. Oh, and then beat each stage three times again with each master. Now finish the alternative versions of Mega Man three times as well. You're not done yet. Roll is an additional character, and then you have to beat the game three times with her. Then you have to complete the challenge mode. Unlock Proto Man and repeat this process with him. Finally, finally, you complete classic mode for that 100% and what's left of your sanity. Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 I'm not gonna lie to you guys, Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 is a real piece of garbage. Leave aside the fact that it was practically broken upon arrival with terrible stages, mechanics, and bosses. But hey, you wanna complete it, okay. Well then, just get an S ranking on every stage, oh and make sure you do that with all three of the playable characters. Take our advice, if you haven't returned it already, just recycle, at least the environment will thank you. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter Completing achievements for multiplayer games is tough enough, and Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter took this to an insane level. Basically, if you want those achievements and a coveted 100%, then you must be rank 1 on the multiplayer leaderboards for solo, team, and universal modes. Basically, you have to be the best Ghost Recon player in the world. Easy enough, right? European Extreme Mode Metal Gear Solid 2 while the rest of us were deciphering Hideo Kojima's metaphysical musings in Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, European players got their very own extreme mode. This was above the usual extreme, and eventually made its way to the rest of the world in Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. In order to earn the coveted Big Boss ranking, you not only had to deal with less rations, boss attacks that could instantly kill you, less inventory space and whatnot, but also guards having increased vision. Did we mention that it's game over if you're discovered? Simply horrifying for any Metal Gear Solid master. Final Fantasy XI We're leaving aside the Golden Ballister achievement in Final Fantasy XI because there are other things that will torment you. 
Final Fantasy XI has six basic jobs, which further expand to 15 advanced jobs when your character hits level 30. With all of the content that Final Fantasy XI has to offer, can you imagine trying to level up every single job from start to finish? Aside from possible mental breakdown upon repeating the same content, it would just take months upon months. Minecraft Hey, don't worry. Despite what the rest of this list has told you so far, Minecraft's achievements aren't that tough to get. However, you still won't be 100%ing this game. Why? Because it simply never ends. There's always new places to mine, new things to build, new mods to try, and even more crazy things to attempt with friends. This is a case where the sheer limitless nature of Minecraft will stymie your completionist side. White Knight Chronicles Level 5's White Knight Chronicles is one of those underrated but still above average JRPGs that made the PS3 stand out at the time. It's also an enormous time sink. Not only is the main quest about 60 hours long, but completing everything – side quests, collectibles, guild questing rewards, and crafting payouts – can easily take 1,000 hours. That's nearly 42 days of non-stop playing, assuming you never die, of course. Skyrim As it is, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is a massive experience. When you throw on mods, various builds, a gigantic world to explore with tons of side quests, and so much more, it can easily take several hundreds of hours to experience fully. However, due to the radial quests, which are endlessly generated side quests with simple kill objectives, you're guaranteed to never finish the game. And that brings us to... Fallout 4. While Fallout 4 may not be as massive as Skyrim, there's still an absurd amount of stuff to do, even if you stick to two major factions till the end. Bobbleheads, magazines, and other side quests aside, Fallout 4 also boasts of radiant quests that keep things going and going and going, regardless of how many you complete. Hey, at least it's something to do. Blast Core Rare's Blast Core is proof of the company's unorthodox yet insanely fun game design. It was also real tough to 100%. You have to finish all main levels, find all scientists, discover the hidden levels, and achieve a gold rating on all of them. Find all of the hidden goodies in the main levels, get gold ratings in all of the time trials for the main levels, gold ratings on the secret planet levels, unlock the platinum targets for all of the levels, and then finish those, it's almost appropriate that the end cutscene says, you can stop now. Katamari Forever Want that completionist achievement in Katamari Forever? You have to collect everything in the game. This includes the special cow bear and devil Kataoka items both of which are incredibly hard to find and earn. If that weren't enough, the enormous Katamari achievement challenges you to make a Katamari that's over 2 million kilometers in size. All we have to say is good luck. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.